Hey everybody, so welcome to uh, the first in a series of videos about my FPV ground station build. And as you can see here, I'll try and show you what will we use for, to build this ground station. Well, uh, first of all, I'll use this box. This was a microphone, a, a fame. MS58 dynamic microphone that uh, my brother bought for our, ba our band which is Vinthium, you can check for it on YouTube Vinthium.com and uh, I'll use that box, I'll remove the, the foam what will we use for the ground station? well, the microphone case we have here we'll use this this shunt along with the voltage and current display to know how much power consumption we have and how much battery is left we'll use the bus cam uh, the bus cam receiver mm, focus then never focus ok RX5808 I've already soldered some pins here then you'll see it ahead uh, I'll show you uh, how I did it we're gonna use a TV splitter to connect the antenna as this is pretty much the same as SMA connectors and I have this and I don't have any SMA connectors instead of, spend, instead of spending more money buying them I'll just use this we'll use these two speakers removed from an old laptop and uh, we'll also use a, a board, a small power amplifier that is still in the mail along with some um, uh, on and off switches that I've ordered to uh, to keep everything together and we'll use the cloverleaf antenna that you can see me build in one of my other videos I show you how I built this and also the adapter also the adapter for the to connect from the this this will go from the receiver no yeah from the receiver to the to the TV splitter and then the antenna will attach on the TV splitter okay this is how it's gonna work and we'll also use a, of course, what we need most important for a most one of the most important things if you want to build an FEV ground station is to have a display. And we already have here one. This is a seven-inch display that I bought on AliExpress.com, and that's what we'll use for this FEV ground station. It's a a non-blue screen which is ideal for FPV and this is turning out to be an, un an unboxing we have here power lead for the screen and yeah power lead or uh, this is that cover that stays because of the sun to put around the screen and I'll just try and show you the screen itself very quickly tricky to open this with only one hand okay so this is the display that we will use okay besides all these uh, things I have here as I told you I'm still waiting for it to receive it in the mail some on and off switches colored ones and um, on and off switches and uh, 
and the PC power circuit power circuit board PCB uh, audio amplifier to plug in the speakers okay okay so right now what I'm about to do here is as I told you I'll be using this on my FPV ground station and the antenna will attach on this side these two will be out of the box and this all this part will be in all this part will be inside the box and this one as well and these two will be out the antenna will attach here and on this side in order to connect the receiver the yeah the receiver I've been doing this I'll solder one of these here on this wire and then this will attach here simple and basic this part will attach here with this soldered and then this part here on this side this uh, this was just a servo extension this part will connect on my Boscom receiver which will be inside the ground station this one I'll be soldering here some pins around it here yeah. and then this will simply connect to the pins here and anytime I need to remove it I can simply all, all these connections will be made with pins like on the flight controller boards and then I can plug this here or unplug whenever I want okay so basically now what I'll do is I'll solder this Then I'm gonna put a piece of heat shrink tubing upon it for now. Okay, so another tiny little bit of blow up solder to make sure it's well secured okay this one's done heat shrink can go ahead Okay. Now I'll solder the two exterior cables here because these will be these will be uh, ground. Okay. Okay, and that one is done. So now I have disconnected. I'll put a piece of heat shrink upon this. It's hot here, coming this way, and we'll shrink it a little bit. There you go. We have our adapter done. Pin the adapter on this side. 
Yep. Plug in the antenna on this side. All this from here above stays out of the box, all this stays inside the box and this goes to the receiver. And this part is pretty much done as you can see. Okay. Here, all the connections will be made through these pins like on a control board. I'll put them here. We'll put in the three connections on the receiver. We're done. Okay, so first three are done. Now for the other side. Okay, so we continue on soldering the pins. For the receiver, There you go, all the pins soldered to the receiver.